Oh, hello everyone. So I hope all of you guys are having a very lovely day today. So as promised, I'm going to be testing out a bunch of makeup products from Shop Miss Day. I recently hauled a bunch of their products. So this is my first time trying anything from Shop Miss Day. So I'm really excited. I really don't know what I'm going to do with my face, but we're just going to go with the flow. So I know I'm going to start off with my eyes first just because I don't know if there's a lot of fallout with these palettes. So we are going to start off with the eyes. I guess first let's moisturize the lips because my lips are super crusty. But I have a lip balm here that I purchased from Shot Miss A. And this is from Beauty Treats and it's the Bunny Balm. And this one is the nude shade and it looks just like this. It is so cute. And it smells very fruity. It does feel very moisturizing. It has a slight gloss, but not too much. For the most part, it's matte. I like it, I like it a lot. That just feels really nice on the lips. So that's a winner. They have two other colors. They have a pink and a purple, but I got the nude because I just wanted to make sure that this was pretty much clear, and it is, so I'm happy about that. On to the eyes. I didn't get myself a primer. I know that there is a primer from Clean Color that you can purchase on the Shop Mistake website, but unfortunately, I didn't pick it up. There's a moth. Well, let me get that moth. I have super bright lights and it pretty much attracts all the gnats and all the moths that are like lurking in this room so uh, I hate that but anyway so I didn't purchase a eyeshadow primer so I just popped on a concealer this is from Santi and it's their super smooth concealer this one is number five but if you do take off the label you completely lose the number but I do remember it's number five and I'll just add a little bit more but yeah, concealers just make the perfect eyeshadow primer in my opinion. And this concealer seems to do the trick. It's really nice. I like the consistency of it. It's not too thick. It's not too thin. Um, so far, it's so good. Now I'm going to use the eyeshadow palette. So this one is all matte and then this one is shimmers. So this one is in the shade be the life of the party number five and then this one is number one be grateful so uh, beautiful colors and they're from clean color and these are the femme advice palettes so uh, let's do this so I'm going to start off with the mattes first and I really love this color right here this like light pink mauve so I think I'm gonna dust that into the crease area so here we go and that's what I'm gonna do. I don't know if these have a lot of fallout or if they're easy to blend, if they're chalky. We will find out. So it is pretty pigmented, which is nice. I'm gonna take this one right here, which is like a mid-tone purple. It is also matte. And I'm taking this like flat, fluffy brush and just placing this on to my lids. Of course, I'm gonna add some shimmer, so I'm gonna use this palette right here, and I'm gonna take this light purple right here, and I'm going to pop this in the center and see how that looks. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the darker purple in this matte palette and place this on the outer end of my eyes. These palettes are just, they're really, really good, guys. So I just wanna deepen up my outer eye a bit. The darker purple is probably the only color that really doesn't have much pigment, but I'm gonna go back into this like shimmery purple and just use my finger and just place that in the center just to add some more of that shimmer. Now I want something that's really gonna deepen up my outer corner, so I think what I'm going to do is use one of the darker shimmers and see what happens with that. So I'm probably going to go ahead and just use that really pretty burgundy shade. I'm going to try a more fluffier brush and just really get a lot of product. I really think using a different brush helped really pick up that pigment. So I think it's really pretty. I'm channeling my shirt right now. I'm going to clean up my eyebrow area so I'm going to take this matte light shade right here. This is kind of like a seashell pink and a smaller eyeshadow brush and I'm just placing this on my brow bone and also 
Uh, I think I'm going to place this on my inner corner as well. And then maybe just add a shimmer shade too. It's really nice. Very brightening. So pop it in the inner corners. Really pretty. Sometimes these colors can be a bit chalky, but yeah, it's really good. Very, uh, very smooth and not chalky at all. Okay, so now I'm going to add a shimmer shade to the inner corner. So I'm going to take actually a mixture of these two right here and pop that in the inner corner. I feel like these lighter shimmer shades aren't that pigmented. For now, we're pretty good with the eyes. So I'm going to do some concealing and color correcting. So I'm going to start off with color correcting and I'm going to use this palette right here from Starry. And this, I don't know if this has a number. Yeah, I don't see it anywhere. But here are the colors. Okay, so I'm going to use this brush right here. This is from Party Queen, and this is the large concealer brush. I definitely recommend a flat, smaller concealer brush with, you know, color correcting palettes. So I'm going to start off with this orange shade right here. It's kind of like a yellow orange, and I'm just going to place this underneath my eyes. And this diminishes any darkness that you may have. These colors... Are super creamy the consistency is almost on the verge of being oily but not quite it's, it's almost like the first layer is pretty oily but once you really work in your brush they're actually like the perfect consistency I'm gonna add some green around my nose because around my nose area tends to get really really red On my chin area any areas that are red and then just for highlighting purposes I'm actually gonna mix these two colors the pink and the white I know that sounds kind of weird but so test this out just for like highlighting brightening purposes pink is very brightening so I just wanted to add a little bit of pink to that and I'm going to use my beauty blender to blend this all out. I'm pretty much going to use the beauty blender for a lot of things. Concealing and foundation as well. Because this is like my go-to tool. I feel like that made somewhat of a difference. I definitely feel like my skin looks brighter. So I am happy with that. And now I'm going to actually conceal. So I'm going to conceal underneath my eyes with this shade. This is number two. And it's more of like a yellow toned concealer. So this is the Santa Concealer. And number two. So I'm just going to do the infamous triangle, upside down triangle, and make a lot of weird faces. I'm not a fan of just how the concealer is, like the stick form. I'm not a fan of that, but um, I like the consistency. I'm just going to put some down my nose as well, a little bit more on my forehead, not too much because I already added that brightening. Um, color correcting color there and maybe a little bit here and then again blend that out with the beauty blender so far so good the concealer doesn't look cakey whatsoever I really love that and definitely can see myself using that again and again uh, I'm gonna take the more like natural skin tone shade this is number five and just cover up this blemish here this has a slight pinky tone to it. It's not too much, so it doesn't really bother me. It's kind of like a true beige, I guess you could say, so it does have a slight pink tone to it. I'm just gonna dab that. But yeah, it covered up that blemish really nicely. So that's good. Okay, so now on to the foundation. I actually have two shades, and I think I'm gonna go ahead and use number five which is slightly darker. This is number four, this is number five. Um, so yeah, so I think I'm just gonna use number five. And I should say, this is the Santi Aqua Stylish Silky Milk Foundation. And it has SPF 20 and it's a oil-free foundation. So that is what it looks like. It is very yellow toned, so if you are more 
of a pink toned kind of person. This might be a bit too yellow toned. I think even for me, this might be a bit too yellow toned. I think I'm gonna check out the number four and see how that looks. This is number four and this is number five. I think I'm gonna go ahead and just like mix the two shades together to make like the perfect shade because number five seems to be a little bit too yellow for me. So I may look kind of crazy. It does have a very pleasant scent to it, which I really like. It smells very fresh. So let's just blend this in. I'm actually kind of in awe at how this foundation performs. It just looks really, really nice and natural on my face. It does have a more thicker, creamier consistency, so I thought that this was going to be really cakey on the face, but actually, with the Beauty Blender, it just really just melts it in my skin, and the color actually matches me quite good. Four or five is actually pretty nice. Um, I thought five was going to be a little bit too dark, but it's actually nice. I just use five to kind of build up the color a little more in the end, and yeah, it's definitely my color, so... I love this foundation. It's so crazy to me because I have high-end foundations that just cake up around my nose area like no other. And this one, like, there's no cakey situation going on. It's seamless. I'm just, yeah, I'm in shock. I really am. Okay, so now it's time to bronze up my face. So I'm going to take this bronzer from Clean Color. This is the Tanned Raw Matte Bronzer in Fiji Matte. And I love the color because it is quite neutral. It's not too orange. It's not too cool toned. It's just perfect. Like, it's right in the middle. I'm going to take my favorite bronzer brush. This is from um, Zoeva. And this is the Lux Face Definer brush. So I'm just going to bronze my face. So starting out with my forehead. I'm just going to dust this color on. Noticeable difference right off the bat. And... It's not patchy or chalky. This is just perfect. It gives you that really nice sun-kissed glow. I love that it's matte because I'm not really a big fan of shimmer bronzers. I like adding bronzer right here. On this little crevice on my chin area. Perfect. Hello, here I come. So now that I am bronzified, I'm going to use a blush now. And this one is from Amuse, and this is a Lovely Rose. It is matte. It is stunning. It's a really pretty pink. So I'm going to take this like angled blush brush. It's super fluffy. Um, and I'm just going to place this on the high points of my cheeks. So gorgeous. I love that. So of course, gonna add some shimmer. So this is the Santi Sunkissed Mineral Formula Blush. It also has SPF 20, which is nice. And this is number five. It reminds me of Nars Orgasm. Maybe a little bit more peachy. Maybe more like Benefits Corlista. It's stunning. So I'm gonna use the same blush brush and just apply that right on top. So this one, I'm actually going to extend towards the apples of my cheeks because I don't think I'm gonna use the highlighter because I didn't purchase anything that um, could give me like a really nice highlight. So, I'm just gonna use this sort of as my highlight, my glow on my cheeks. See how that works for me. It's really glowy. I don't know if you can see that, it's so pretty. I love that. Oh, I'm so obsessed with blush. You don't even know. Well, you probably do know. <laughs> Absolutely love these. These are one of my favorite things from Shop Miss A. They're all super shimmery. Um, this one obviously is more peachy and more golden. And then I have one that's like more of a copper. And then one that's more of like a beigey rose gold. Stunning. Stunning. They're great blush toppers. So now I'm going to do my eyebrows, which kind of scares me. But I'm going to take this clean color retractable eyebrow pencil. I believe this is in medium brown. Yes. And it has this spooly area and it has the pencil area which is very similar to the Anastasia Bowers which is like my ride or die but today we're testing out this one. I did swatch this and it was like super pigmented and this doesn't go down so once you bring it up like that's it so uh, please be careful because it doesn't okay you kind of have to push it down. Whew. Okay let's try this. 
So overall, I do like this pencil. I feel like the outer ends, like my tails on my brows, kind of look a bit thick. But I do like how my brows look. They don't look too bad. Probably a little bit darker than they usually would. But uh, the consistency is definitely more creamier than my other brow pencils. It's not as dry as I would like it to be. Um, but, however, once you get used to the creaminess of it, um, it's actually it's quite nice. Like it, it just glides on. You can get a little carried away with this because it is just like it's just super creamy and super pigmented at the same time. So you do have to be you know very careful. But light strokes, light baby strokes, and you definitely would be good. Um, I like the color. I like that it's medium brown, but it's definitely still dark. But yeah, I do like it. I do like it. So the spoolie works really nice to kind of just. Uh, kind of smooth everything out so yeah it's a winner for me definitely is the best way I can describe the texture it's kind of like a very creamy like brow pomade texture uh, not as waxy but it still kind of sets like a brow pomade if that makes sense so yeah that's a good one so I'm gonna use the brow powder actually so I'm just gonna kind of set my brows right now and I'm gonna use this clean color brows essential uh, brow powder and I believe this is dark brown. Take this little angled brush to do that. So I really do like the brow powder. It is super pigmented, guys, so a little bit goes a long way. It does have more of a coolness to it, so it's more of like a ashy brown, which isn't too bad. I feel like if you're using a brow product, like a brow pencil that is a little bit more on the warmer side, and you want to kind of like neutralize it a little bit or cool it down, then a brow powder like this is actually pretty good, so. This is really nice, really nice. It wasn't like chalky or anything. It went on my brows super, super easy. Uh, and yeah, just kind of like, I don't know. It set it, it smoothed everything out. Uh, yeah, I like it. I'm going to use this black liner duo. This is from Cleanista and it's their duo eyeliner. There is a liquid eyeliner part and then there is this automatic eye pencil part. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to tight line and also add this to the waterline as well. So the eye pencil went on super, super smooth. It just glides on, guys. So, yeah. I will say that it's not the most blackest. It's almost like, like an off black. I don't know if that makes sense, but it's not a jet black. But it definitely still defines the eye, so I do like that. So I was contemplating whether I would do like a winged eye. Um, I don't know, let's check out this liner. So this part right here is stiff. I don't know if you can see that there. It's like a stiff felt tip, which I thought it was going to be like more of a brush tip, but I like that. So I think I'm going to go ahead and add a wing and uh, wish me luck. So that is my wings, my winged eyeliner. I have to say, I really like this. The liquid eyeliner is really, really pigmented. It's really, really jet black as opposed to the black eyeliner pencil. But I like the applicator also of the liquid eyeliner because it's super stiff. So it makes it very precise. It makes the line very precise and very sharp. So I love it. So I am a huge fan of black liner. So this is definitely one that I will be using a lot. To finish off the lower lash line, I'm going to use this eye pencil from Malibu Glitz, and this is the Real Waterproof Eyeliner in the shade Pearly Peach. This also has, I guess, vitamin E to moisturize your delicate skin. So this is a really nice pastel peach. I want to keep this look very, you know, very spring-like. So this is very smooth. It doesn't catch, you know, on my skin, so it's very comfortable to apply. And super pigmented as you can see so I'm gonna add a shadow on top of that and I'm going to add one that is very similar to the shade of the eye pencil which is this one right here and it's shimmery um, it's a nice peachy shade and that just really makes the lower lash line pop it's so pretty I have two mascaras that I'm going to layer together. This one is the Girls Talk Lengthening Mascara from Clean Color. And this one doesn't really have a specific name, but it's a mascara from Starry, the Starry Mascara. So I'm gonna start off with the lengthening one, and then I'll use the other one next. I don't know, that's the first coat. I don't feel like it really lengthened 
my lashes, I guess slightly. But it did separate my lashes really nicely. But I'm going to apply a layer of this one. This is the Sorry Mascara and see how that goes. That's the wand. I guess it's added slightly more volume, but nothing too crazy. So I'm going to go ahead and apply the falsies. So these are from Cara, and they are 100% human hair, and they're the number S3s, and they're super natural. So I'm going to go ahead and apply these. So those are the Cara lashes, and I really like them. They were super lightweight. They were super flexible. The band is translucent, although I feel like you can still kind of see the band. Just very natural and very lightweight. So they were very easy to apply. I applied them within seconds. Uh, yeah, so I do like them. I feel like you definitely need to build some mascara on them because they are so natural. But once you put on a coat of mascara, they definitely like liven up. So uh, yeah, they're really pretty. Okay, so I'm almost done. Now we're going to do lips and I'm really excited to test this out. This is from Santi and this is their version of a liquid lipstick, a matte liquid lipstick. So yeah, this is the long lasting matte liquid lipstick in the shade, well it's number 8, and it's like a super shimmery metallic liquid lipstick. It's just so girly, so pink, and I can't wait to put it on my lips. Really excited to see this color because I know Milani came out with some metallic liquid lipsticks that are super hard to find. I know that you can get them at Walgreens, but I haven't had luck with that. I'm so in love with this color. It is super girly. I don't know about you guys, but I love metallic frosty lips. They just really make your lips look super pouty. Uh, this is so comfortable on the lips. It was so easy to apply. It smells really good. It smells like like a strawberry milkshake. It smells so good. It smells as good as it looks, to be honest. And uh, yeah, so I'm definitely going to be rocking this a lot. Pressing it on my lips. And yeah, it's still intact. This sets so quick, quicker than my other liquid lipsticks that are more expensive. Doesn't feel tacky. And it doesn't feel thick on the lips. It's super thin. It's a very thin consistency, but yeah, it sets really, really quickly. And it's not patchy. I don't know how they do it. Kiss proof. Uh, yeah, so out of everything that I used today, I definitely recommend this. I'm kind of bummed out because I totally forgot, where is it? I totally forgot to use the primers today. Like I was so excited to use all these stuff and this just got lost in my little um, chaos of a makeup table that I have going on. So uh, next time I definitely will try out the Santi Face Primer. I'm definitely going to be picking up some more things from Shot Miss A um, and I still have a few things that I have yet to try so um, yeah I definitely will test this out and I will definitely let you know and I'll probably do another video testing out that um, but yeah I really love this look hopefully you guys do too it's super you know just pretty um, some purples and peaches and pinks yeah really girly um, I love everything really I can't really say anything too bad um, I had some smudging with the black pencil that I noticed like around this eye so if this eye looks a little bit darker than this eye that's what happened there was some like transfer which kind of stinks uh it's probably one I don't know like the only thing I could say really uh, the brow pencil is really creamy and you know you do need to use a very light hand I love the color fixing palette it's awesome I love the concealer love the foundation the foundation is just amazing so Really, I love everything. Um, the mascaras are probably the only thing that I would definitely say pass on. But other than that, like everything either works great or is workable. Like there's really nothing bad about it. So um, I hope that you guys enjoyed and there definitely will be more to come. So don't you worry. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye everybody.